I've got a warning for everybody. There are good hacks, there are bad hacks, and then there are hacks that are just downright dangerous. Let me share one of those with you right now. Over the last seven years of being on YouTube, I've published hundreds of hacks. Some are good, some are kind of average, hopefully none of them are really bad, but I know none of them are just downright dangerous. And so I feel like I've got to do this public service message to warn everybody off of this particular hack. And here it is. You've got a retractable clothesline or the same thing with a dog leash. And what people do is they take this and they attach it to a milk crate or their kayak with then the anchor being on the other end. Well, this is a fail for two reasons. This clothesline is designed to handle 30 pounds of weight. And I know there's going to be times when a heavy kayak, it's going to swing in the, in the current, and it's probably going to exceed that. And so what that is going to do is it may not break the cord, but it's going to damage the internal mechanism that allows this to retract. And then the second thing is this isn't made to have the insides, the guts, always immersed in water when you use this thing on your kayak. So the guts are going to wear out and the retraction, retracting is not going to work. But here's the dangerous thing. Where's the quick release on this? If you attach this to a milk crate, you know, you're not going to be able to get this uh, undone unless you cut it. If you attach it to your kayak, the same thing. There are two reasons you want to have a quick release on your anchor system. The first is a positive one. You need to cut loose of your anchor to go follow a fish into the weeds or something like that, and then you want to return and pick it up. That's why a lot of the hacks you see on anchor systems involve attaching a float. I got a red in the grass back here. I had to cut loose my anchor. I'm having to wade over to get it. Check that bad boy out. I gotta measure him. He might be over slot. Well, I'm gonna wade back out and get my anchor. But the other more important reason is to save your life. Now, I learned this kind of the hard way when I was canoeing on the New River maybe 15 years ago. I'd come underneath a rapid, I dropped the anchor of the canoe, and it was getting ready to, to fish in some of the eddies below the rapids. Well, the river caught my kayak, the anchor was hung, spun the kayak, and it was tilting dangerously, maybe an inch with an inch of freeboard above the water. Thankfully, I had my knife handy and I could cut the cord. Well, that's what's going to happen if you use one of these things permanently attached to your kayak. There's no way to quickly release it, and that could cause a very dangerous situation. That is the key reason why using this or a dog leash to attach your anchor is such a fatally bad idea. You never know when that current's going to grab you, spin your kayak, flip it, or flip your canoe, and now you're in the water. And if it's winter right now, if it's winter, that could be deadly. It's just a bad idea. So if you see one of your buddies using one of these things to control their anchor, please dissuade them by saying, well, where's your quick release on this? How are you going to cut this loose if your kayak gets caught in the current or you need to go after a fish? It's just a bad idea. What are your thoughts on this? Comments? Throw them down below. Thanks.